Take 54. Hey guys, uh, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer, and today I'm going to show you something cool, something really, really cool. You probably haven't seen it before. If you have, then it's still a bit on the download. Anyway, not to beat around the bush, um, it's the tag feature. There's new, there's new tags that we support now, uh, particularly the popular tag. So if you type in popular like so into the search bar, and you select pins, hit scrape, and this will bring back the 50 most popular pins for that day. Okay, so you have a bunch of different stuff here, and this is a great way of either a repinning the popular content and then replacing the source URLs back with your website URL, and also understanding what typically gets more user engagement and more likes, more repins, and that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. It's very easy to do. Just hit uh, type in popular. Uh, make sure it is capitalized because these are case sensitive. Likewise, with your own comment down here, has to be capitalized. And hit scrape and it'll bring back the top 50. You can also use different more pages if you want more, but usually the top 50 is the most reliable source. So that's that. Next, we have importing and exporting. We had this for a while, but now we support importing of your own personal URLs. So whether it's a Google Images URL, whether it's your website URL, you can now import URLs along with descriptions automatically back into the program, ready for pinning. Now, to do this, just go ahead and right click, import URLs, and Select the text document. In this case, I have this one here. Okay, and as you can see, it's imported two URLs. We have a Pinterest pin, fake dummy pin, and a cracked um, image as well, also fake. Now it's really easy to do. All you have to do the format is like so. So you need URL, semicolon, and then you have a description. I'll put it into perspective for you. Let's say URL like so, and description. If you keep it in this format separated line by line, then you'll be fine. Hit import and you'll be good. So now that you've got that out of the way, now you can import your images, you can find the most popular pins, you can repin re those, export those, all this really cool stuff. Keeping track of all this sometimes gets a little bit tricky. Now we support project saving and loading. So in this case, if you have 100 pins scraped, you have your accounts loaded up, you have your source URLs you know, established here, potentially, you have your time delays, you have all this information set up. So let's say I have a description here, comment, hey, buddy, whatever, you know. I've got all this stuff set up and I don't know what, I don't have to write all this up again for my next run. Just go ahead and click on this and then hit save. And this will save a project file. So test for instance, okay? Next time, if I could close the application, if I open it up again and then I go back to the little project menu here, hit load, uh, select test project, everything is back where it is essentially. Okay, really, really cool. Um, my account has also been loaded up, but it's in the manage, in the manage um, page. And if, you, if I click through it, you'll see my password. It's a whole long thing. But anyway, you get the idea. So it loads up everything, saves everything, all your settings, or your customizations to make things as easy as possible. So that's all for now. Uh, stay tuned for our next video. Thanks.